This is the video review for Marvel Avengers Battle Hammer Thor. And of the three of these Marvel figures I've played with so far, he's probably the best. I only have Captain America to look at. Now, um, he comes with two weapons. He comes with a very floppy axe that does nothing but flop. I'll put this off to the side. It's not very interesting. And he has a more rigid axe that is actually pretty neat. I like the sculpt of it. I like the colors of it. And if you push this up and down, I like how that works. I mean, I don't know if this... I, I never got around to watching the Thor movie, so I don't really know what this is. I mean, yeah, it's an axe. Or, well, halberder. Some kind of a smashy, smashy thing. I don't know if it's supposed to be Mjolnir or anything like that. Although, when it gets uh, folded up like this, it does kind of make me think of uh, Gungnir, the, uh, or Gungnir, however you pronounce the name, Odin's Spear, that never misses it. It kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, here is Thor himself. He is much bigger than Iron Man, though not as big as the Hulk. And he has no gimmicks in the... Um, no gimmicks inside of his body. Each joint just moves as a joint. So, yeah, so far he's the best of the, uh, the three of them so far. How many times do I have to say so far? For possibility, his arms go around like this. They don't go any further in than about that much. A bit disappointing. And if you rotate the arms up, his uh, pecs of doom will push him, out, push him out a little bit. But they can go quite a ways up. And there's a little under 90 here, and they'll rotate, head turns, although the, he's looking at kind of an angle. It looks to go forward, not much back, that's a little bit of a problem. They'll go out, bend at the knee, rotate above the knee in two places, and again, nothing at the foot. Now, luckily, like, um... The Hulk, he has a much more substantial foot than Iron Man, so he can stand a lot better, but it's still not an easy thing to do. Takes a little bit of fiddling. And uh, he does hold this axe quite well, a lot better than Iron Man holds his weapon. You can just pop it in. However, one thing that does sort of disappoint me about this figure is that he doesn't have a he doesn't have a wrist rotation. I at first like, well, wait, he does, but no, it's just his a bicep uh, twist. He doesn't have a wrist rotation, so the only way to get him to hold the spear two-handed or the axe two-handed is to kind of make the um, bend it out of his hand a little bit. So. His hand is touching it, but isn't actually grasping it up there. And I do think this does look pretty cool. He's not a bad figure. I certainly recommend him more than Iron Man and Hulk. He feel, I feel like I've gotten a lot more for my, uh, for my money's worth. Just because what's here is well executed. I wish he were a little bit bigger... I wish he had a couple more joints, but it's not a bad figure. I I like the detailing. I like the posability for the most part. It has a couple of things that would help. Uh, it's not bad. I certainly recommend him more than Hulk or Iron Man. Thank you for watching.